Welcome back, and today we're going to take a look at the Devo Knives Growler V2. These knives drop tomorrow on 9-7-23 at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. They're an exclusive drop to White Mountain Knives. You can use code STASA23 and get 10% off. There are three different variations. The aluminum one that I have right here with the blue uh, hard anodization on it. You can also get it in carbon fiber which is probably my second favorite and you can also get it with a black wash blade white g10 if you want that stormtrooper look now some of the main differences between the v1 and v2 um, i think they're worlds apart this one feels like a much more refined knife uh, the oem to this one was kubi knives and uh, this one right here was shielded knives now they did a good job on this one it's just like i said this one's a lot more refined uh, this one you have this nice top swedge up here. This one you don't have one. And this one you have this long row of functional jimping that is perfect. And on this one you don't have any at all. Um, I don't really care about jimping too much. And the blade hole is smaller on the V2. This one has a pretty splotchy stone wash finish on it. Um, you know, it still looks nice. This one has a, a very light blasted stone wash finish. Very, very smooth to the touch. So you shouldn't have any problems with uh, it corroding, especially since it's 154CM. Uh, that's another difference. This one is in 14C28N, 154CM. Uh, this one, they brought the plunge line back to about right there. This one, uh, it's hard to see, but the plunge line almost comes down even with the edge on most. Due to the very broad blades on both of these, uh, this one performed very well and uh, this one did too. Let's watch a little bit of the cutting I did with this one. The knife came very sharp and with that tall grind and uh, thin behind the edge, uh, geometry it's just gliding through this uh, cardboard very effortlessly I'm hardly having to put any pressure through it excellent slicer uh, just like the v1 the v1 was a good slicer as well um, this one I'm just gonna hold an edge just a little bit longer and uh, the the finish on the blade held up fine that's usually cardboards usually what will start to scuff it up or scratch it up but uh, it held up just fine and uh, definitely happy with the performance. <coughs> I'm not going to do a whole lot much more besides test the ergos. Being that these are contoured scales, testing the ergos on this piece of pine. And uh, just checking that edge real quick to make sure it, it wants to catch the wood. And then I start really pushing down into the wood just to see if there's any hot spots. Everything was good. The clip stayed out of the way of my palm. And those contoured scales filled out my hand nicely. They're wide enough and very comfortable. So I could have done this for a long time. I was able to choke all the way up there, make precise cuts, and control that uh, edge really, really well. Definitely could have done this for a long period of time. I'll tell you what, this thing's a blast to cut with. It's just so comfortable, especially now with the addition to the contoured scales. That was one thing that I had wished for on the V1. Uh, even though I like the micarta because they had a nice grippiness to them. They were flat scaled. Uh, these really fill out the hand nicely and are a lot more comfortable in my opinion. Now let's check out the deployment and action of the knife. They made the blade hole a little bit smaller. However, it's perfect. I can easily get my finger in there to reverse flick it and it's very, very snappy, very smooth as well. Um, you can also thumb flick it and you can also slow roll it. The detent on this one is uh, dialed in a little bit better than the V1 in my opinion, or at least on my example. The blade centering looks like it's right down the middle. Now let's take a look at the scales. Uh, like I said, this one is the blue anodized aluminum. You have the Devo knives, a logo pivot, T8 hardware throughout, even on the pocket clip. Love seeing that. Nice crisp hardware, pretty big lanyard hole, reversible deep carry wire pocket clip, and pretty much buries all you have is that little piece sticking out. 
Uh, looks like a titanium backspacer. I'm not certain on that. It might be aluminum. Now being that these are aluminum, it will bring the weight up over the V1 by a little bit. Let's check that out. Now let's check the V1 out first. It was coming in at 3.788 ounces. It's perfect for me. This one's coming in at 4.04 .04 ounces. So not bad at all. And if I had to guess, the G10 one or the carbon fiber are probably a little bit lighter. You do have a inset stainless steel liner lock on both sides. And as you can see, they skeletonized the lock side and heavily skeletonized the show side scale. Excellent, excellent job. So they did everything they could to keep down the weight. Now let's take a look at the lock up. I'd say it's sitting at around 30 to 40 percent or so. No play any direction. I mean, very, very tight lock up. Very good job. Access to the lock bar is outstanding because of this cutout here. Plus, they put a chamfer on the inside of the aluminum right there, and you do have some texture. Very easy to get my thumb there. Very comfortable. Now, for some quick size comparisons, we have the, the Growler V1 and the Sencut Sirene. Uh, the Growler V1 is actually about an eighth inch longer in overall length. Ontario Rat 1 and 2. And lastly, we have the Spyderco PM2 and Power 3. All right, nitpicks and plaints. Now, they, they already went over this with a fine tooth comb, so I really have to be nitpicky here. And I think um, instead of like this light sandblasted stone wash, which, you know, is perfectly fine, I, I always rather like uh, just a natural stone wash where it's like a brighter finish and it tends to uh, hide, hide wear a little bit better. These sometimes can smudge, but with the cutting I did, I had no issues with that. So very, very minor nitpick there. Overall, I think it's an excellent knife. Uh, I think it's priced well at $109 for this one and the carbon fiber one with the satin blade. Um, 154 cm, great action, solid knives, great slicers, comfortable in hand. What's there not to love? <laughs> you know, I, I have knives that I spent a good bit more than this that... Um, didn't do as well as this one did so definitely uh be ready uh, i'm sure these will probably sell out rather quickly uh, i think i said earlier that the stormtrooper g10 and blackwash blade one uh was 109 but it's not that particular one is uh, the cheapest at 99 dollars. so i will have a link in the description uh, like i said use code stasa 23 for 10 percent off <clears throat> And yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.